What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modern X and we're less than a week away from the Galaxy Note 8 release. Both the Exynos and Snapdragon variants have shown up on Geekbench, which confirm six gigabytes of RAM. And then they've also shown up on Antutu, which verifies 64 gigabytes of storage space. We also know that the Note 8 will come pre-installed with 7.1.1 Android. While it's not unusual for Samsung to release phones in different markets with different CPUs, it's a little unfortunate that Samsung's very own Exynos processors tend to perform a little bit better than the Snapdragon counterparts, and that seems to be the case with the Note 8. Both variants of the phone have an 8-core processor. The Exynos version is clocked at 1.69 gigahertz, while the Snapdragon version is clocked at 1.9 gigahertz. And on paper, it seems like the Snapdragon version would surely be able to keep Keep up with the Exynos version, but while the Exynos version doesn't have to be clocked as fast as the Snapdragon version, you see that the Exynos version outperforms the Snapdragon version by a pretty decent margin. The Exynos version was able to achieve a single core score of 1984 and a multi-core score of 6116, while the Snapdragon version was only able to achieve a 1815 single core score and a 6066 multi-core score. Interestingly enough, the LG V30 with a Snapdragon 835 processor was able to grab an 1899 on single core performance and a whopping 6350 in multi-core performance. That's with only four gigabytes of RAM. That device was also also running a newer version of Android, Android 7.1.2, so maybe that was the huge difference. It's unfortunate that Samsung has to rely on Qualcomm to make chips in the US. I for one would love to see the speedier Exynos processors in devices worldwide. What are your thoughts on the subject? Be sure to leave a comment below. That about wraps it up for this video. If you like the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.